Hey guys, what's up? This is Triple Mist here, and today we're going to be taking a quick look at a new browser known as Rocket. Now, I found this browser due to an app request that I got, and you know, after using this browser for quite a long time, I found this browser to be one of the best browsers out there in the market, but not still recognized as that much. Now, uh, when we run an asset tree test on this browser, this gives a total 100 on 100 score, which is pretty good. And uh, well, one more thing I would like to suggest is that uh, let's go to youtube.com and uh, open a new tab and let's open google.com one thing that you'll find on the top bar is the tabs now these tabs are available now in almost each and every browser available in the market like google chrome and all that good browsers out there even safari and all that stuff but one more thing that is added rather than the tabs is this thumbnail preview of the tab so you can uh, let me just enlarge it here and you can see the tabs right here you can just go to Google and let's just type in triple mist and while that we can see that uh, there is a quite a nice kind of you know effect going through while the page is loading and okay so the page is loaded you can you know go in here you can search my followers and go there and you know it's that all that's good and you can just close the tab by clicking here and you know let's close the thumbnails so this is a quite a good browser also uh, like Safari has user agents so uh, like uh, we want to open chipmist.com uh, and this will open the normal web-based flash website right the flash construction page but uh, what if I want to see how the page is available like uh, on the mobile like on the iPhone the iPad so what I have to do here uh, let's uh, just hold on a second yeah, so uh, what we have to do in here is go to Rocket uh, and go to user agent to change the user agent to, you know, uh, let's say Safari. So you can just uh, refresh the page and now that will open up the normal mobile website. And let's go again to google.com and take a look at one more thing that I found happening only in this browser itself, not in Google Chrome, not in Safari, not in any other browser that I've used is this when you click on the Google search bar it actually expands and give a nice you know kind of effect to it which I didn't find up uh, so much intuitive in Safari and this is all very good you know like it seems good it has all the things in mode it has a rocket download manager and all that good stuff you can go to preferences this has a quite a nice amount of preferences here see uh, you can change the behavior of tabs and you know you can also change the auto tune so you can change the window level like you know you can keep it on floating you know you can change the window opacity so you can you know like even this way this is quite cool you can search uh, so chipper mist and this feels kind of good you know it gives a nice background and that's good preferences again and uh, let's get the opacity full and uh, you see these are quite a good tips you can uh, add the plugins to the visual tabs and I split pane on the top like uh, I showed you the visual plugins visual tabs and you can change the navigation launchers you can add you know shortcuts to web pages that you visit you know uh, oftenly and you can uh, click the cinnamon bar to you know check off the updates and all the good stuff uh, the rest of the things are the same that you can find you know in every single browser one thing that I didn't found good about this browser, it has a very low amount or no amount of extensions available like in Safari or Google Chrome. Especially in Chrome, it has its own app store and compared to that, this totally lacks something up. It also does not have any kind of extensions to the app lock, which I use probably most in Safari and Google Chrome as I hate advertisements. So, you know, it's kind of nice. You can use this browser up on a daily basis. This surely is a browser that can be used in place of Safari on your Mac. Now, this is uh, right now available only for the Mac and not for Windows. So, you know, I'll give it about uh, 7 on 10. I'll cut uh, the three marks, one for no extensions, one for a little amount of, uh, you know, finishing is needed to this browser. And the second is not multi-platform. It's just available for the Mac. Now, to download this browser, you just have to go to Rinnecats.com slash rocket.html. The link would be in the description. You can just click on download. The download link is very pretty simple. And you know, you have all the other stuff. Also, you can see on this uh, page that you have multi touch enabled. So you can also swipe to go back and front. And uh, one thing I didn't make use of is uh, zooming in. 
Now, it says Rocket also supports other multi-touch uh, gestures such as pinch to zoom, which I didn't think was happening to me. But I don't know whether I was using it right away or not. But, uh, well, this is all. This is all about the Rocket browser. Thank you for the app suggestion. And if you have anything else you want me to review, you can just uh, leave in the comment section below or, you know, PM me. And you can also follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash tripamist. And do subscribe to the channel if you like my videos. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.